Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Imperator, where we are currently working our way through our mission to develop our territory. And we currently need to get another city upgrading. So we need roughly another 135 gold or so, something along those lines. That's not too bad, and that will get this city upgrading. We need a lot of gold in general. And the question is, do we want to use one of these bad effects on it? Well, I mean, our research is already terrible in terms of its progression, so I'm just going to get 84 gold from doing this. That'll be fine for now. Our stability actually increased from that. Okay, sure, that seems fine. So now we need a total of 350 gold, right? So that's only 25 additional gold at this point. So that's looking pretty decent. That's like two more months at this point. So no major problem there. We're going to get this city upgraded. And then, of course, we're going to need to build a fort, and we're going to need to build two markets in it, or I guess commercial districts, whatever you want to call it. They seem to be interchangeable. So that is reasonably fine for now. Of course, in the meantime, our centralization is slowly creeping up due to our coin minting initiative, and that's very good. We definitely want that to keep coming up. We need it to get to about 60, if I recall correctly. Where was that? That was in our decisions... So I think that was under laws. Maybe not. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> For sure. Diplomacy, technology, missions. Yeah. It's definitely in here somewhere. Where was the decisions in Imperator? Wow, I suddenly can't remember. Okay. So that's fine. It's absolutely okay. We'll get there. We'll definitely get there. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, here it is. It's under the nation overview. So we would need to abandon the sedentary lifestyle... But no, we wouldn't. That's the opposite of what we want. We need to investigate tribal tribal reform. So centralization will need to be greater or equal to 60. And all clan chiefs will need to have 33 or higher loyalty. And that is going to add a tribal reform mission to the mission pool. So that's fine. But of course, that means we need to finish our current mission first. So let's get this upgrade done. That'll take a couple of years for that upgrade to complete. In the meantime, we can save up cash. We're going to need quite a lot. Hmm. Slaves becoming freemen, huh? Actually, we're just going to take the gold. We still need crazy amounts of gold to make our way through this mission. We still need 600 gold here. This is going to be another... Let's see. We need like 160 for the fort. And then the two markets are going to be like another... 120-ish. How much are forts? 140. So another like 120-ish from here. I guess another 140-ish. Okay, so that's like 280 gold that we need here. We need 600 gold here. We need a foundry, which we need tech for here. That's going to be a little while. They'll all accept the situation in time. That is okay. We also need a new magistrate, and that's fine. But this is going to require three new trade routes in Candice. That's going to be a lot. No doubt about that. Fortifying Panay, the fort level will need to be greater or equal to one. We'll get rid of that as soon as we can, but that's okay. We're also going to want to embellish Panay, importing stone, marble, iron, or wood. Or actually, and wood. No, we only need one of the following. Well, that's really easy to do. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then another 300 gold for constructing our flagship. So the amount of gold that we need is actually relatively low at this moment. I do want to stay in the civic focus here. And let's sit in commerce focus for now. We do need that magistrate. And let's put this guy in. Cool. So we need to be saving up... Ooh, additional progress. I like it. An unmarried ruler here, I guess. I mean, he's 74 and he's in poor health, but sure, you'll do. Hard bargain, but worth every penny, huh? Not really. 86 gold for, from the nation? But I, well, we don't actually need the political influence at this point. Let's try somebody else. How about you? <laughs> Same thing. Okay, whatever. We'll spend the money, I guess. I'm not happy about it, but we'll do it. We are, of course, going to want to get rid of these forts as soon as we can, and that means the first thing that we should build here is a fort. Then once that finishes, we complete this mission and then get rid of those forts. We don't want them. We absolutely do not want those forts. 
This granary is going to be 600 gold. So, I mean, we are going to need a fair amount more gold than what we have right now. But honestly, at 10 gold per month, that's not going to be too, too bad. It'll take a few years, but it's not too bad. So, I feel like we're making solid progress on this mission. We can call down an omen here, and we're going to call Jenglot at this point. Seems good. Hmm. I don't want to spend money on things. Political influence is an interesting way to do it, though. Do it. That's okay for now. We're not going to need significant political influence for a little while, although it's very good to always have around. But for the time being, it's not strictly speaking necessary. So we can see that we are going to finish this upgrade fairly soon, about 250 days. And that, of course, means we're going to have more expenditures going in there. But our income is going to come up shortly thereafter. So that looks very, very good. Because we're spending a lot on forts right now. If, we, if you look at this, 1.56 being spent on forts, even at low maintenance. This guy is mobilizing his troops. I'm sure it'll be fine. He's a bit of a jerk. He's not very happy. He's likely the next tribal chief, which is actually really funny. Okay, so sure. Whatever. He's ailing, so he's probably not going to do well. He's ailing too. This guy's healthy. So we might want to consider giving this guy free hands and boosting up his opinion, but it doesn't seem to be actually all that necessary. I think this is reasonably fine as it is right now. So we're probably going to start thinking about expansion reasonably soon. Our manpower has just been going up and up and up and up and up. And I'm pretty happy about that, actually. What's our population situation? That's our power base. I want to see our actual population here. So we go in here like this. 419. Okay. Member of the fan clan died. That's okay. So 419 is actually not terrible. If you compare that with like these guys, 118, 68, 170... We're definitely the big boy in this region, and that's good. We very much like this. He's already at zero loyalty. Well, that's not going to do anything. Okay, if we go up to, like, Chin up here, of course, that's a lot of pops. No doubt about that, but that's fine for now. So we're going to hop down here. First thing we need to do is build a fortress, just so that we can complete this mission. The mission is, of course, going to give us six tribesmen, so that's good. More pops is always phenomenal. And we're going to delete these forts as soon as we can. So we finish this, we finish this, delete the forts is the idea. We do need a new elder, which will be Zoon here. That'll be fine. And now this, this researcher here is actually disloyal. So I'm going to give him free hands, but he's probably going to get a bunch of corruption out of that. It's not great, but whatever. What is this guy's actual loyalty at? Hmm. I mean, it's capped at zero. I'd have to do the math. But he's definitely significantly below zero. That's okay. We do need a new apothecary, and that'll be this guy. So that looks good. And this fortress will be done in 400 days. Now, we are going to need to queue up commerce districts after this, and we can get one, and we can actually get both. So let's get both of those queued up. That is this section as finished as we can get it for right now. We're just going to have to wait about a year until this fortress is completed. And they'll accept the situation given time. We have a new leader, and that's not surprising. Uh, this guy's also ailing. I'm not... I'm not going to get him married, I don't think. It's probably not worthwhile. Okay. So, we need a new civic researcher. That'll be this guy. And we're going to die again very, very soon. So... We might as well get some, like, civic focus here, but it doesn't really matter. Because he's going to die very soon anyway. So that's reasonably fine. Now, what else do we need expenditure-wise? Actually, the next thing that we have to do is get 600 gold. So that is the next mission. We are about 10% of the way there right now. We may want to consider neglecting research again for 90 gold. That'll give us a full sixth of it. So that sounds good. And our stability isn't high enough to strong arm at this moment, but that's fine. We can't do this for another two years. But we'll get there. 
we should have enough gold to do this fairly soon, actually. Because our gold is going to go up a decent amount getting rid of these forts. It's unfortunate that we were required to spend the money on it, but here we are. But as I said previously, we should have built these forts and had them all finish at the same time so that we didn't have upkeep on them. That would have been the better way to do this. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. So that's fine. We're still cruising ahead on speed five for now, and that's absolutely okay. This is looking fine for the moment. We're about 70 days away from finishing this fortress, and that of course means we can get rid of these forts. That will be very good. We'll be very happy about that. And Port Marcus is already done. It just needs to actually finish. 15 more days. Let's go. 10 more. Five more. Done. So we complete this, and we get those tribesmen. Fantastic. We are instantly deleting these forts. Get out of here, forts. We don't like you. So that's all perfect. This guy gets cancer. Sure. Three pops would be sent away. An ancient fertility figurine would appear in our treasury. Provincial effects if in holy site. Local population growth plus 0.1. Do we have any holy sites? I'm not convinced we do. Let's see here. Actually, yeah, we do have holy sites. We've got four of them. In fact, we've got five? No, I think we only have four. Hang on, let's go into our religious mode here and check our holy sites. There are five total holy sites. We control these four for sure. And this is considered one as well for us. Okay. So that looks good. No problem whatsoever there. In which case, this will probably ultimately get us more than three pops. A most welcome offer. Okay. Now, we need to go into the Panai Holy Site here. So this is currently in our treasury, right? Did this go into a Holy Site? This is an empty altar here. A reliquary contains this ancient fertility figurine. That's currently in Candace. So, the question is, with this being in Candace, in Panai, it's not in this altar. We could desecrate the holy site, but of course we're not going to. And the question is, how do we actually equip this in Candace? You may only place treasures in the altars of deities that are part of your pantheon. Okay, so Sang Hyang Kursa is a Dukunic deity of justice. So is that part of our pantheon? No. Jenglot is, though, and the holy site in Manar does, in fact, worship Jenglot. It's a settlement and can only store up to one sacred treasure in its shrine. That's fine, but we can't store it apparently here in Panai. How do we actually put this in somewhere? I don't care where it goes necessarily. You may only place treasures in the altars of deities that are part of your pantheon. Yes, this guy is. So then the question is, is this somewhere like not under control of our culture perhaps? No, that should definitely be control of our culture. We could dedicate a new holy site. We could also change our pantheon, theoretically. So who would we want to get rid of? Somebody like, for example, cohort loyalty gain chance is completely pointless for us right now. So we would rather have it be this guy. Okay, so we would change our pantheon here. That looks good. And now we can put this altar in. Oh, we put it in from here. I see. Okay, that seems fine. So we put this in Panai. That looks great. I've never actually done that before. That's kind of a janky way to go about it, but we got there in the end. Sounds good. So, next up, of course, we need another 250 gold or so. We're slightly over halfway. 
and we're definitely making more money now that we got rid of all those forts. But we are going to need to finish up this next mission, which of course is going to be port markets. That'll give us a local import route in the province of Kra, which is fine. It'll auto trade. That's not significant for us, but it'll be maybe a little bit of a bonus. Not too bad. So this is the first commercial district. The second commercial district is going to need to finish up. And let's check in here to see if we can neglect research again. We can't. We also can't strong arm because our current stability is only 27. We may want to stab a pig, to be honest. And let's do that. Let's work up our stability for a little bit here. That's going to need some work. Our population happiness is at minus 22 right now, which is not by any means ideal. So this commercial district is going to be done in about 70 days. There's apparently memories of the earthquake. We're gaining six stability from that. That's solid. Bringing us up to 34 at least. So, I mean, only minus 15.6% pop happiness. That's better. No doubt about that. Absolutely phenomenal there. We're going to finish up this commercial district. We're at 427 gold right now, but we need to continue to save. So when are we going to be able to neglect research again? Probably not for a little while. What is this? Ah, uh, he just needs some time to adjust. He did cost us five stability, though. What a jerk. We do, of course, need to grab port markets. So let's get that finished. The next thing that we have to take at this point, there's no way around it. We have to do granary. So that's fine. We need tech in order to get the shipyards. We can't get the foundry yet. We need all four of these to advance. And that is, I mean... According to this, that's like 70 years away. That's not actually how far away it is. We've been getting that 10% boost relatively regularly because we are behind time, but we're working on it. We need to get our centralization dealt with to properly get that online. Now, I would like to continue to work on some of these cities. It'd be absolutely great to work on some of these for sure. But for the time being, this is okay. And neglecting our research is probably not great, but this is going to be done fairly soon, right? Where are, yeah, progress abandoned until 11 March. So literally right now, that looks good. We can do this again, in theory. It'll have to wait till the month day, though. Okay, somebody made a claim on us, hilarious. We're going to abandon progress. That brings us up to 598, which allows us to do this granary mission as of now. Done. A particularly rotten herring killed that guy, huh? Okay. We'll demand a payment to the territory. That's fine. And that, of course, means that we need to expand trade in Candace. Now, this is going to cost, I think, political influence. Morian collapse is happening, yeah. That is relatively fine. So expanding trade here. What we need to do is we need to do these province investments. So it's going to cost a lot of political influence. No doubt about that. In total, it's going to cost 240 political influence. But we need to entice business investments thrice here. Barbarians, indeed. Okay, so that's going to be a fairly long-term thing that we need to do. And also a fairly long-term thing is tech. So I think that working on these missions at this point is kind of useless. We just need to give this time at this point. So that pretty much means expansion is the way to go. My initial thought is, what about these guys out over here? They're in a defensive league with these guys and these guys. So we would be fighting all three of these. That's probably fine. 36 is our current levy size. Okay, let's expand our navy for right now. We'll need to build four of these. So we'll get our navy expanded and we'll start getting into position to attack up over here. That'll be reasonably fine. We're definitely going to do that. I want to check in on the status up over here, right? So this is currently 0% culturally assimilated, 100% religious assimilated. We could move this over, but that'll cost political influence, and I'd kind of rather not do that. 
Okay, so we could move some pops in over here, but these are all not of the correct culture, so it doesn't, or rather, any correct culture. Yeah. So they are not considered a full citizen, so they do not count for colonization. That's okay. That is absolutely fine. We're going to continue to work on that. How is the assimilation going here, anyway? Incredibly slowly. Okay. Mostly due to unrest? I mean, fair enough. Whale fat candles. Local unrest minus one. I don't think that's super worthwhile. Okay. Okay. So we're going to continue to cruise on forward here. We've just got one more ship to finish up. That'll be done in about 15 days. I'm going to bump this back down to speed four. We're not really going to be cruising forward at this moment because we're going to be going back to war here. So we'll just slow it down ever so slightly. We can call down an omen and we should probably grab our deity of war for that sweet, sweet morale bump. There we go. Just waiting on this ship to come in and we will raise up our levies here. I'm going to raise all levies, including our Burma levies. Okay, so these guys are going to immediately embark here. Too disloyal to allow this action, and the navy is too small. Okay, we do have some elephants. Is this guy actually disloyal? He is. Okay, so we should probably bribe this jerk. Okay, stop it. Now, 35 ships. It's actually 36, but these can merge. There we go. Now we can embark them. Perfect. So I'm going to bring these guys up over here, and then this army is going to move in over this way. So it's going to take some time for them to get there. That's absolutely okay. This is getting to be a kind of scary levy, to be honest. 18k is a lot. Speaking of which, we should probably be working on our manpower city here. We should build conscription camps. Just like finishing out the number of buildings here. Probably even removing this port, to be honest. But for now, the port is absolutely fine. We'll leave the port there. Let's get these conscription camps built. That is going to increase our manpower amount. And that's good. Now, I want to check in on our pop type here. So specifically, yeah, pop class. So currently we can see that we are 45% Freeman. That's pretty decent. Okay, so up we go. We'll be landing up over here shortly, and these guys are moving on into position as well. Also, once our tech goes up, we'll be able to start building roads, which is very, very useful. Spending 10 political influence isn't great right now, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, this guy is disloyal again. What a jerk. Actually, it's a different guy. We'll bribe him. Stop it. There we go. Okay, so we should probably consider splitting this force. So I'm going to, going to move these guys up. I want to move roughly another 3k up. This is probably fine. 10k, 8k, and 2k. Something like that. Seems reasonably fine. So we're going to split these guys a bit, get them into position, and once they're there, we're going to declare this war. Do we have a CB? We should check that. No, we don't. Not on these guys, anyway. Not here? Not here. Okay, I'm dumb. We should have started this a while ago. We're going to fabricate a claim on the province of Mon. And there we go. That costs a bunch of political influence. But I guess it's fine for now. So I'm wondering right now what the supply limit here is. 19? 20? Okay, supply limits should be fine up over here. We should be completely okay to stand. So that's okay. We're going to get this finished up, and we're going to declare that war. But that is apparently going to be a next episode thing. Because I completely forgot about CBs. <laughs> we are going to uh, get that CB completed, and we're going to take over this entire area. They are going to cease to... Where are you going? What a jerk. Stop it. Get back over here. There we go. We're going to declare this war if we can get our military leaders in line. That would be very nice if we could. But for now, it is time to put that cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to take over all of this area. 
You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including AL Best Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.